jina naitwa Mahadho Mohamed Ali. Mimi ni mkaaji wa Merti Sub County. E, kwa kuwa tuko na shida ya hii miti inaitwa Madenge. Tumejitoa kama wamama kupambana na hii hali ambaye ni tatanishi sana. Tuko na shida ya hii mti kwa sababu tulikuwa tunatumia hii mto kupeleka mbuzi yetu ama ngombe yetu kukunywa maji hapa. Lakini saa hizi venye hii madenge imekuwa nyingi tumeshinda hata kupita kwa hiyo barabara. Lakini tumejitoa kwa kusema wacha tupambane na hii hali ili hali hatuwezani sana. Tuna hiyo uwezo ama nguvu ya kukatakata hizi mti. Kwa kuwa ukame pia imezidi. E, tuliweza kupata usaidizi kutoka shirika moja ambaye inajulikana kama CRS Rapid Plus ambaye waliweza kutufikia huku wakituletea uniform, panga, choka na gloves ya mkono pia. Tulikuwa tumeshukuru sana. Na sasa tunaomba watusaidie na vitu kama chakula na pia tupewe masomo kulingana na venye tutapambana na hii hali ya hii mti inaitwa Madenge. Kwa kuwa hii mti e, kuna mdudu inaishi kwa hii mti inaleta ugonjwa inaitwa kalaza. Sana sana ikiuma wa mama mjamzito, watoto under 5 na elderly huwa wanapata shida sana. So tuliweza kupoteza takriban watoto 30 kwa mwaka ambao iliyopita na sasa tumejitoa kama wamama tupambane na hii hali ila hatuna uwezo tunaomba shirika nyingine zishikane na hii CRS eh, Rapid Plus waweze kutuingililia kati watusaidie sasa tumepata NGO hii umetengeneza sisi tumesikana mzuri tumepata sisi rec viatu afro banga shoka ile tunafanyia na hii madenge. Hii madenge umesumbua sisi, tulikoza na macho, tulikoza mugu, damu, ikipiga wewe, hii mkono na ribu wewe, awesi tengeneza, hata daktari awesi saidia wewe, sababu dawa awesi shika ajili, hiko na sumu mbaya, hiko na simba ndani, simba limaliza mbuzi yetu, mbuzi, hata watoto yote kingia, wanaingia ndani kwa hii mustuni, ikiingia hivi mustuni, simba hiko ndani, wanamaliza, Alafu tulifanya hivi sisi wakina mama wanajitokesha na sema wacha tumalize hii madenge ile, ile tunajiweza. Big Plus njio alikuja kutuangalia shida yetu mwaka iliyopita. Walikuja kuangalia sisi wakasema tumefurahia wa mama wanajitolea kwa kazi yao. Bila hakuna mtu yeyote wanamambia kutengenesa hii kambarabara ni sisi ndio tulijitolea. Na tulijitolea tukatoa barabara barabara mbili marka ya block na marka hii hii barabara nyingi sisi tunakaa wakati wao watu walikuja ilikuwa kichaka hawe uwezo kupita hapa ni kidogo tu nyani na simba na gurumia hapa fisi na gurumia hapa anakula mbusi hawezi kutoka kutoa kwa sababu ni kila mali ni kichaka Na sasa tulikuwa tulijaribu wakina mama Mungu ndio alitusaidia sisi hatuna uwezo uwezo ni ya Mwenyezi Mungu Ala <laughs> Tuende tukate kwa sabu chimba mimalisa kompe yetu na mbusi yetu. Tukachukua banga, tukaenda kukata na tukatoa barabara baka muto. Na kasi yetu baka Kenya Arabic class. Waka kuja, waka tuangale, waka tukanyia simina, waka tufunza, alafu waka tuletea huguo, overall, na banga, na choka, na rek na buti yote na gogo yote ya macho 
tango siku hiyo mbele ni tulikuwa mkono ametumia lakini tango tulipata hiyo hakuna mali ametumia lakini madenga analete madara mingi hata analete hata kansa acha kitu kingine ukikula mbuzi ukichinja tangine ngine ametokea anachitokea ndani ya tumbo na tumeona naona sasa sisi tunaomba ngine kama iko kumaliza na hii kitu hata nyinyi mtombe huko tulete hiki tu mkona mtawezi maliza lakini tunataka hata usaidizi mwingine msuri hata kwa serikali kwa majina ni Alima Bonaya kuna shida mengi tumepata juu ya hii biskuti kwa sababu watoto hawana mali ya kutembea ngombe zimeisha alafu naye watoto wakitoka shule wanaingia hapo ndani wanaripiwa tukaona sisi kina mama tukasikia uchungu hakuna mtu anasaidia wanaume wanatakao wanatuangalia tukachukua sisi mwenyewe panga tukaamua kutoa hii chafu yote juu tulada kuna shida mingi hapo hakuna mtu ana, anaangalia ni sisi tu tulisikia uchungu watoto wetu wanarepiwa hakuna mtu anachukua hatua sisi kina mama tumeona uchungu ndio tukaamua tukate biskuti na kuna siku tulifanyiwa meeting siku kama tatu hivi hata hiyo watu waliona na wakakuja kuangalia vile tulikata ni sisi kina mama hata hakuna wanaume wengi ndani si ndio tuliona hiyo uchungu tukaona kuna madhara mengi ngombe zimeisha mbuzi zimeisha Alafu tukaona hata binadamu tuko na shida sana ndio tukatatua hiyo shida. Sisi kina mama ndio tumekata hiyo mambo. Sisi kama kina mama tuliungana kwa sababu tumeona kwamba madhenge inatuletea shida hapa Merti ndio tukaungana tukasema hii kitu inatumaliza tuamke sisi kama kina mama kama hata wanaume hawatatusaidia sisi tujisaidie kwanza tusukume itoke kwa nyumba mpaka ile kwa, kwa vichaka so tukaungana sisi kama kina mama akina mama kama 16 hivi 19 tukaungana tukaanza kukata madhenge na hatuwezi kata na tukatuka tuka, tunatupa tunakata ile branches yake tunachoma makaa e, na tunauza zingine kwetu, kwetu nyumbani pia tunatumia so for the for like three months um, for like six months hatujawahi nunua makaa kwa sababu tunatumia ile tunakata tuna, tuna, tuna na madenga tuliona ya kwamba iko na shida mingi sana yes tukikata hiyo branches yake inakuwa faida lakini enyewe mwiba yake ni hatari Mali na kudunga wezi pole aiponi aiponi haraka mi mwenyewe ni victim ili over december ili nituanga ili nichapa hapa kwa macho ili ikanibidi niende isiolo nikakaa bila kwenda hata kusaidia na group yangu for almost like 2 weeks nilikaa ili nichapa hapa kwa macho hata ukiona mguu yangu inakaa kama imefurafura hiyo yote ni effect ya madhengo sababu kila wakati kila jioni kila asubuhi ukienda mwiba inachoma choma so shida ile kubwa lakini tuliona ni Madenge imetoka kwa vichaka mpaka kwetu nyumbani. Watoto wachezi na stare kama zamani. Na wanyama wetu wanamalizwa na wanyama mapori kwa sababu zinaishi tu hapa karibu na manyumba. Hata mchana watoto wachezi nje siku hizi tu ndani ya zero grazing kwa plot. Alafu madenge pia zamani ma, maji ya wasonyuro hata waso ikikatika ni kama tu kama fiti tano hivi unachimba una, una, una na unapata maji. Lakini siku hizi unless yende kama futi 20 hivi uwezi pata maji Ime, imenyonya maji kabisa alafu shida nyingine tena wanyama pia wanakufa naye punda utasikia watu wanasema punda iko na katika yani ina, inabadili style ya kutembea ya punda meno pia hakuna punda the same mbuzi the same watu wanafikiria yes wakati wa jilele kama hii kama last year na this year ali tulikuwa tunaenda tu kutafuta fruits yake wanyama wanakula lakini end result inakuwa mbaya sana. E, inakuwa mbaya sana kwa sababu e, wanyama wa meno inatoka inakaa na walking style nyingine inakufa. So ikikosa tu kidogo hivi wanyama kwa sababu sasa siku hizi hata kuna fruit yake wanyama wanakufa. Zamani merti hakuna story hatujasikia kitu kama hiyo. Hata kama mvua haipatikani mbuzi ngombe tu ziko tu wanaona lakini siku hizi zimekonda zinakufa. Hakuna mali sisi tunapata vitu kitu kingine so madenge haina faida hata kidogo hata kama zamani tulifikiria iko na faida lakini tumeona kwamba ni shida imetuletea kama jamii ya Marti 
lakini sasa kwa sababu tumepata hizi vyombo ya kujikinga naye mtu akipata akichoma pengine mkono una una, una story ya kusema ati inanichoma Usi, kwa macho tuko na glasses nadhani sasa hakuna mtu hata ikigugonga hakuna mtu atakuwa na shida ya macho apron tuko nayo nguo yako siku hizi tukienda na hii ukienda asubuhi asubuhi uki, jioni ukirudi utaona hii nguo yote side moja inapasuka inapasuliwa pasuliwa lakini sasa kwa sababu hiyo apron sidhani kama nguo itapasuka tena hata ukienda na brand new haitapasuka tena mguu pia itakuwa protected kwa sababu na boot so hizo vyombo vyote itasaidia tuko na panga yetu ya nyumbani sasa yangu sasa kama panga mbili hivi imekatika iko tu nyumbani lakini sasa hii itanisaidia panga tuko naye reki ya sukuma na ile muiba yake tuko naye zamani tunatumia tunakata miti ambayo iko ina uh, shape hii ile kuvuruta na lakini sasa reki inaku, inaku, inaturezisha kazi so tuko na protective cloth macho ina protectiwa mkono ina protectiwa nguo ile mimi nimetoka na nyumbani ina protectiwa miguu yangu ina protectiwa So tunasema shukran kwa CRS na wale wengine wote wafadhili wa, wa wengine ambao wameungana nao kwa sababu wametusaidia sana. I'm here uh, to represent uh, Kenya Forest Service and Prosopis Management in Marti sub county. Uh, the species has been introduced back 1982. Uh, the main function was to curb the soil erosion uh, and other environmental issues. Uh, but because of uh, not being managed well it has resulted uh, it has really spread all over the area uh, captured agricultural uh, lands uh, and brought uh, some kind of impact but uh, as we all know uh, forestry is about uh, uh, civic cultural practices if we only manage this tree if we only do thinning pruning and uh, other aspects of uh, management then uh, we are very sure uh, this tree is of a lot of importance to us we have seen uh, the government has came with uh, uh, charcoal rule 2009 that has uh, accepted formation of the cpa that is a charcoal producer association an umbrella body that can have a cpg and they eat so many so many cpgs uh, these guys what they do they form groups they register with social services also, and with also kenya forest services we allow them to do what we call uh, charcoal burning especially we do what we call a forest management plan where we demarcate areas that have got in our prosopis that can be that that can be used for burning charcoal and then after they they burn the charcoal uh, what we normally uh, do is that uh, the, the the association that the cpa the umbrella body is potentially uh, paid per bag to the to, to the charcoal producer association by the transporters and then 20 shillings is paid to the cpgs that's the charcoal producer groups by uh, by by the by the transporters uh, this money is put into a central account uh, where the trees are removed then we replace it with other viable or, i mean with not viable but other other trees that are not as aggressive or as invasive as 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 uh, as, as prosopis geniflora and uh, what we need to understand prosopis has got so many species there is prosopis geniflora which is uh, commonly the most common one in this area that is very aggressive and colonizable but uh, there are those ones that the albida and the chelensis which are edible and has a lot of other uh, good good uh, good good uh, product like animal feeds and so on so we are here today at uh, marty purposely to to have a meeting with the uh, women groups who have been uh, actively involved in control of this uh, invasive species as you all know this species was introduced in our county in late 1990s by a non governmental organization to be specific uh, action aid i think if you even ask this matter you'll tell you it was brought by an action aid in early 90s but it was brought with a good intention if i may say it was actually brought to curb the issue of uh, desertification and uh, wider environmental conservation that was the idea why it was brought to this area there was a lot of wind a lot of erosion so it was purposely brought to curb this menace uh, environmental conservation but uh, since then this uh, invasive species has spread actually it has overtaken all other three species around it has also overtaken the critical grazing land little was known about this uh, species before but it has now turned out to be menace 
If you go around, you'll be told there's a lot of uh, animal death. There's no grass. Where this thing grows, there's no grass around it. It has actually captured all the area. And uh, one, three species, according to a research that was carried out, was found to be taking 50 liters of water per day. And you can just count millions of these trees around the area. So the water table has really gone down. All the wells are dried. There's no pasture. It is actually a, a livelihood threat to the people around here. I, the, and then the, we find there's a lot of also wild, wild animals. There's a human wildlife conflict. Even if an, a hyena or a lion come and uh, attack your, your animals, if there's no way out, you can be able to save because of these thick bushes. Uh, the, the, the pathways leading to waterways have all been blocked. And uh, there's a lot of cases of human injuries that are caused by these species. So actually this is found to be a disaster. Uh, the national government has developed a national prosobis strategy. Actually, it is at the desk of the cabinet secretary. It will be rolled out or rather launched anytime soon. But the uh, county government, in collaboration with the like minded partners, we have got the CRS, K Rapid Plus to be specific, and other partners. We said we are not going to wait for the strategy to be launched such that we are going to carry out the management practice. We said we are going to be head, uh, headway, and then uh, we, so we saw we kind a kind of a joint venture with this. Uh, uh, partners, we train the community. We since the, since carried out since the in this community, and uh, we developed as a county what is called a county pro service management plan. We developed management plan. Uh, actually, it was validated. We also uh, sensitized members of the cabinet and also members of the county assembly on the management plan, what it entails, uh, so that they can also take it at their management level for funding into our CIDP. As you know, for the first time in this third generation CIDP, we never had issues of prosobis, but we have now captured it uh, holistically in our CIDP so that uh, the management practice can be scaled up and, or rather accelerated. So we formed a, a county implementation group in all the wards, I think 20 of them. They, are, they have been trained and they are the ones who helped us to develop this management plan in consultation with the community and to be later, later fed into the CIDP for more interventions. See here is a former Munanda Noor Primary School. It was forced to relocate to a higher ground because of this invasive species, as you can see. It has overtaken the whole uh, school compound, and there's nowhere even the people or even the students can pass. So the school was forced to relocate elsewhere. And this is now the, the remnant of the ones Munanda Noor Primary School. My name is Josephat Siele. I work with uh, Qatar Relief Services here in Cielo, implementing Rapid Plus program, which is an acronym for Resilient Arid Lands uh, Partnership for Integrated Development. Uh, this is a program that is funded by Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, that is SDC, and it is being implemented across five counties uh, by different uh, uh, stakeholders. Uh, we have uh, Rapid Plus in Turkana, Wajia, Garissa, Marsabit, and Isiolo. And um, this is a program that is running for five years. It started in November 2021 and going all the way to October 2026. And uh, the overall goal of the program is to improve access uh, to safe and sustainably manage water and rangelands. It has two key outcomes. And uh, the first outcome is uh, focuses on matters water. And number two, it focuses on um, uh, the health of the rangelands. Um, so one of the key areas around outcome two, which um, uh, attempts or explores to ensure that we have uh, health rangelands is invasive species. And uh, Isiola County is one of the counties in Kenya that has been invaded by Prosopis tuliflora. And uh, many areas within the county has been affected a lot. And listening to the stories from the community and the women, especially here in Merti, can tell you a lot about um, a whole chain of uh, the negative effects associated to prosopis. There are uh, health concerns around humans and as well as health concerns around livestock. Uh, many of them have mentioned uh, two decay in livestock, uh, katika disease uh, like for dangis. Uh, issues of leishmaniasis uh, disease for human, as well as constipation mainly uh, among us the children because of the consumption 
of uh, prosopis uh, boats, which contain a lot of uh, a lot of sugar. So when we came on board uh, during our first year of implementation, we had a, a sitting, and at that time we had uh, three groups which were try starting to form, uh, and their key agenda was trying. To, they, they they felt so much agitated, and uh, they felt it was now the right time for take, to, for them to take action. So we came, we sit together with them, then we discuss so that at least we get to understand uh, the, the, these particular groups and perhaps the way we should go towards uh, managing the prosopis. So uh, when we started our discussion, then the groups grew from three to six, later to ten, and as we speak at the moment, we have uh, ten groups. So what we have done as a program in collaboration with the county uh, government of Isiolo, mainly through the various departments including environment, livestock, and agriculture is to support in building the capacities of these groups. Uh, and one of the key areas was to support the groups in formalization. And uh, that is to say for them to register so that uh, they are recognized uh, legally by the government and, and in that they will be able to access our various opportunities provided by government. So uh, again, one of the key areas that w we felt was um, key for, that, for us to intervene was to provide safe handling equipment uh, for the prosopis uh, groups here in Merti. So we discussed again with the stakeholders as well as the groups for us to identify a particular equipment that uh, are key for them to accelerate uh, the management activities. And uh, this again was informed by a uh, baseline assessment which we conducted for the groups, uh, which flagged off uh, many, many gaps uh, which existed within the groups. And one uh, that stood out strongly was the lack of appropriate equipment. So based on, on that discussion and based on those findings, then we, we decided as a program to support and intervene in providing this particular equipment for the groups to, uh, to be able to um, handle the management aspect with a lot of safety, at the same time trying to think around um, economic activities uh, alongside uh, prosopis management. So we have been able to support so far 10 groups uh, with assorted equipment, and this equipment include um, steel access, pangas, uh, rags, uh, gloves, overalls, as well as uh, the goggles. Uh, because again, there is a lot of issues, mainly when they are burning, there is uh, the smoke, which is a bit irritating for the eyes, as well as the poisonous stones uh, from the prosopis, which in many occasions has resulted in um, an healing wounds, which according to the community, they tend to associate the same to the increasing cases of cancer uh, in the area. Uh, alongside that, we thought of uh, trying to support income generating activities. and. Looking at prosopis as a value chain, one of the key economic opportunities is charcoal production. So for us uh, to support these women to have some economic value, while again addressing uh, uh, management uh, aspect of prosopis, we also included charcoal production kilns for them to be able to use the biomass, which uh, instead of burning them to waste, they can use the same biomass uh, to produce charcoal which from this charcoal they can be able to sell and have some income that can support them to meet uh, household needs. So this is just but a start as the program will continue building the capacities of these groups as well as looking at uh, livelihood opportunities along prosobis. And these opportunities will include even value addition because uh, prosobis sports is a very good uh, feed for the livestock. So we'll try to look at te te technologies, the innovations, as well as um, value addition of these prosopis for them to be able to use it well in terms of uh, managing uh, the prosopis so that at the end of the, of the day it becomes sustainable because the community are able to see some economic, to derive some economic value out of uh, the management uh, aspect of prosopis. So we'll still work very closely with the uh, county government of Isiolo in ensuring that we continue to, uh, to build the capacities of the groups as well as trying to expand to uh, the other areas in Isiola County so that we have that ownership and the community becomes uh, the ones on the front line towards uh, managing the species. Uh, the, the species. Otherwise, uh, we are so much grateful uh, to our donors, uh, Swiss Agents for Development and Cooperation, 
and the CRS family will continue to work very closely with the community uh, for those uh, years that we shall still be around to ensure that this prosopis is, uh, is contained because it has led to a lot of uh, environmental degradation. Uh, one of the key areas, again, we'll try to explore is uh, tree planting because uh, again, clearing the area and uh, leaving it uh, is, leaving it bare is a bit uh, is an, is again creating some um, uh, issues environmentally. So we'll again try to encourage the community to plant trees uh, which are suitable in this area. Thanks a lot. Uh, let me also appreciate the effort of the CRS, Rapid Plus, on behalf of the uh, government. Uh, with Yolo, uh, Meti, some county. It was a I think six groups benefited. I then I lay only four. four groups. And other four groups that are remaining will also benefit in the near future. Though the timeline is not indicated, but I know how promising these people are. Uh, on behalf of Meti, some county, uh, the CRS have done a lot. They are doing a lot, they have done a lot. And uh, we are expecting a lot from them in collaboration with our county government. Sanasana County Government of Siolo, Sahai, with Lorena, two directors are here to witness the distribution of these equipment. All the time they are with us. Nakama Hawange Kwana Sisi. But our county government, in conjunction with our stakeholders, are all the time with us. But we are very happy. If you are not in the middle of the day, you will be able to get the money. You will be able to get the money. So, when we are in the middle of the day, we will get the money. So, we will be able to get the support and safety equipment. We will be able to accelerate your activities. We will also get the first aid kit in case of any injuries. Nasaidika wakati pale mko kwa kazi. Atutaki mtu akiumia inachelewa na inakuwa shida baadaye. Tumesema ya kwamba pia tutataka wakati wa management ya prosopis tunataka watu wapate mapato. And one of the ways ya ku generate revenues ama income kwa prosopis ni kutengeneza maka charcoal uh, production. Na because of the climate change and environmental related uh, issues we are promoting uh, charcoal production kill because it is efficient, it is environmentally friendly, and also it is um, it is productive. So we, we are also happy because nini kama machesa tayari mumefanya mambo ya chako na tutawatakemea pia nini mufate kufunza wengine. Because watu wakijua umuimu wa prosopis wakikata wapate makaa wa use, wapate pesa ya chakula, ya school fees, tutapata kujua kwamba yoni resource ambayo iko, iko katikati yetu. Sawa sawa. So tunawapatia pongezi na tutasidi kushirikiana. Yeah, so this is officially handed over to you kwa matumizi yenu na tutakuja kufuatilia tuone vile inawasaidia. Asanteni. Oh, I'm not. 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 Oh, I'm not.